Hi everyone, Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. Today is Wednesday. March the 3rd. Welcome to my studio for Facebook Live today. This week we are working with the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set and coordinating dies. This is an uh, oh no, it's not. I was going to say this is an early release. No, nope. it's available to customers now. And it's just a beautiful set. So there is the bundle option, Butterfly Brilliance Bundle. It's 10% off when they introduce a new bundle. And I love the bundle, but I love the paper that goes with it. So there's one pack of paper that has this birch style designer series paper. And I ran it through the embossing folder. It's really, really cool. And then there is this beautiful designer series paper. So there are six designs, eight of each. Now the, the interesting part about this is the paper is only available while quantities last. The stamp set and dies will carry over into the new annual catalog, which releases in May, but the paper is only here while supplies last. And you really want the paper. The die set is beautiful, but you want the paper. And so we're going to be working with the paper and um, the dies today. Hello everyone. Hi Monique and Barb, Sylvia. Hello Cheryl. So thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it. So this is what we'll be working with today. Some of them. Just a reminder, Spring Stamp Camp, April 10th. The early bird registration has ended, um, but you're welcome to uh, register. We make 14 cards and a 3D project. There's always other fun things that I throw in as well. There will be product included. So after March 1st, the cost is $80. I do have my Dragonfly class coming up on March 13th. Masculine cards on the 27th. And then I added in, because I realized Spring Stamp Camp is after Easter, I added a new class called Springtime Joy. It includes a stamp set and this three pack of ribbon, which is really cute, nice and springy. And we're going to be making three, sorry, just reaching over, three cards with matching treat boxes. These will be the same color. I was kind of experimenting. Um, so you will get all the materials cut, scored, ready. You, you do the stamping because you will have the stamp set. Obviously, if you have some coloring uh, markers or blends to color with, that's perfect. So there are two options. Well, the third option is if you're a team member. The other two options are three cards and three uh, treat boxes or six cards and six treat boxes. So you can decide. And you do get this adorable um, Springtime Joy stamp set. It's really nice. And not just for Easter, just for spring. Registration is available on my site, MarianneCowan.com. Okay, let's get started. Let's do this card first. So this is a continuation, I will say, of my black and white cards I started yesterday that ended up being black and white and so saffron for a couple of them. Here's the ones from yesterday. I think this is my favorite. So black, so saffron. This one was just black and white. I started out doing just black and white and then I introduced so saffron and I couldn't stop playing with it. And then again, black and white and so saffron. So the one we're making today is that same theme, black and white and so saffron. And I hadn't used yet the die that comes with, no, the stamp, the stamp. So it's one big stamp. And I did use it on my Stamparatus um, to stamp the images. It's a huge stamp. It's actually bigger than a regular card size. You can see. And it's definitely much easier to use with the Stamparatus. 
So I started out with just this and then I just couldn't help myself. I added So Saffron. I was gonna add a pink, but I don't know. I'm just really drawn to the So Saffron. So here's my images stamped. And I don't think I'm putting ribbon on this. These are really simple cards because these the the stamps and the die cuts uh, butterflies do all the work for you. I'm just not sure about the ribbon, so I'm just gonna place it first. So we have that with our black card base. Then we have the stitched shapes, the largest circle. We have our beautiful swallowtail, which I already went ahead and added Wink of Stella. And I saw someone yesterday with Shannon, I don't know if she's on. Did her butterflies, I always do them this way, but she pushed it up and then curled it under a little bit. And I like that look, actually. So I don't think we want ribbon. I think we want this just plain. So let's go ahead and glue this on. Shannon does Facebook Lives, whoopsie, nightly at seven called Paper Delights with Shannon and she always has some great cards. All right this is going to go on here so I'm going to attach this first with dimensionals so then I'll know where I can put my glue. So I'm going to cut a little strip actually and I did go ahead and order some black dimensionals. I don't know why I don't have any. So we're going to center this. And now I know where I can put my glue and it's not going to be seen. So I want this a little bit higher than center. Ah, one thing about white glue, it moves. I was trying not to squish down my butterflies that I just squished up. Then I have the sentiment, birthday wishes from Itty Bitty Birthday. There's a little piece I think that'll be perfect. It's fun, isn't it, Marty? It's easy to get hooked on this set. You can just do so many things with it and really quickly. You can make quick cards with this set. All right, so there we have our birthday wishes. And I'm going to grab the black matte dots. And I think I'll just put the ones on the actual butterfly. I don't usually go all the way down. I think that might be too many for the male. So I'm just going to add two. And of course you can add more if you want. Or you could add a little colored ones down there. It's really fun, Sandra. And you kind of get like in the zone, in the butterfly zone, and it's just so pretty. So there's our first card, simple, simple. So the stamped background and the beautiful swallowtail butterfly that was cut out using that one die that cuts out six butterflies from that one sheet of designer series paper. And what I love about the paper is you get eight pieces of that paper. It's this one right here. So you get six butterflies, but you get eight sheets of it in the pack. Okay, so that's our first card. Now the next two cards are the same design and it's one of my favorite designs. Um, because it showcases the front and the back of the paper. I've done this card many times, but I thought for this paper, it's perfect. So my paper is five and a half by five and a quarter. So the way I did it, yeah. So I just cut my sheet in half, then I scored it at four and a quarter. 
and then I slid it over and cut it at five and a quarter. So then I have a little one inch flap. And for this card, I'm going to put this right on the top. And I'm actually going to add my glue here. And you can cut it. I should have cut it a little bit more over here so I got more of the Calypso coral flower or butterflies. But I forgot. So now when you open it, you see the front of the paper and the back of the paper. I just love that technique. Then I have my vellum. Um, Stitch so sweetly dies, I want to say. Vellum, and then the smaller one in white. And let's put this on so we know where we can put our dimensionals on. So let's add some dimensionals to the back. This pack is one of the weird packs where they fall right off. I first did it, Marty, when we had that beautiful um, poppy paper that was so pretty on the front and the back. Because sometimes you can't even decide which do I want for the front and which do I want for the back. All right, so we've got that. And then we're just going to add a couple of little butterflies. Again, I've already gone, th um, put some Wink of Stella. So I have a little pink one down here. I think I'll put it up here. And the little orangey one down here. The more orangey ones I kind of cut off, but... They're just so pretty. So I do find you don't need a very big strip for the back of these butterflies. Like that's probably even too long. Let's see. Nope, perfect. Let's put one here. This paper is really pretty with all the different colors of butterflies. That other one went flying away somewhere. So I'll just cut another one. I like using up all the edges of my dimensionals. This one is definitely too long. There we go. All right, and I did pull out the Artistry Bloom sequence because I think they may look pretty on these cards. Okay, so what color do we think we want? This has so many different colors in it. I think that's too dark. Or the blue. I think I'm gonna go with the blue because the sentiment's kind of in the middle. And so I think the blue will kind of pop a little bit. I love these little sequins. Okay, I think that's really all it needs. Oh, I do want to put little black matte dots on the heads of the butterflies. All right, so there we can see the front and the back of the card. And I did grab a piece of white to put inside. And you could always put another little butterfly inside as well. Now you do want to make sure that your, it's not going to show. There, that's good. So when you open it up, so I'm going to look and see if I have another little pink butterfly. Oh, let's use some of these ones. So these are the ones that are around the edge of this paper. So don't forget to use them. 
as well. And this one will be perfect. Just tuck it up here. There we go. So there we have a pretty front and a pretty inside as well. Thanks, Marty. Okay, so the next one is the same design, but with just a couple of different little things. So that was Calypso Coral. This one is Bermuda Bay. So I have this piece of designer series paper. So I did cut it so that I had more of the Bermuda Bay than the pink. Down here, it's a really bright pink. So that one I did on top. This one I'm gonna do underneath. Just to show you a different way to do it. And I did take from the peony dies this cute little scalloped edge. So I first had it in white and I thought, hmm, I'm not sure if that's too bright. So then I did it in vellum. Hi Diane, hi Judith. Then I did it in vellum. And then I didn't think you could really see it that much. However, I am going to add vellum to my butterfly. Let's just lay it out and see which one. So that's gonna be my butterfly. I'm gonna add a layer of vellum. Then I have my little sentiment for the bottom using that great new punch. And this is from the Oval Occasions, I believe. So we've got the vellum or the white. What do you guys think? And while you're doing that, I'll just go ahead and put these together. So vellum or white? I actually really can't decide. So I did go ahead and put Wink of Stella. I'm just going to do this one flipped up because the vellum naturally flips up. I'll add a little black matte dot. Whoopsie. My vellum slid. That's funny that everyone's saying vellum, because at first I did white and I thought, well, I don't know. Then I did vellum and I thought, oh, I don't think that works. And then when I looked at it again, I liked the vellum, I think, a bit better. All right, we'll do vellum. So I'm just gluing this on with probably a tad too much glue. Okay, so we'll get rid of this one. Now the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to attach this first. And with this die, you can't tell in the vellum, but you can see kind of a little line here. And I use that as my guide to put it on. So it's not as visible, oh yeah, I can see it very lightly on the vellum. So I know to put my glue up to there. And that's going to be where I line it up. So I want a little bit of space at the top and a little bit of space at the bottom. And hopefully straight. So now this one, you do want to line it up so that it's got a good edge around it and it's matched up to the vellum. So just holding it in place and adding a bit of glue. I think that should be good. All right, give it a little bit of a fold. The vellum is pretty. So now we have our butterfly and our sentiment. So let's go ahead and add these. Okay, does this happen to anyone else's dimensionals? Everyone liked the vellum. Okay, so this is gonna go down here. This is a great little set. These sentiments are so quick and easy to use. All right, so this one is a little bit bigger. but not quite that big. 
It's surprisingly small, that little space. I do it the wrong size almost every time. All right, so here we go. We've got Wink of Stella on the butterfly, and you can also put it on the vellum, which is actually really pretty. And I feel like, well, we have um, this one to put inside. And then again, we have some of these to put around. And I think for this one, I'm going to add a couple of these. I don't even know what color they are. They're pink. <laughs> I know that. Let's see if we can fit. Oops. Where did it go? And there's so many colors on the paper. You could add different colors. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I like to keep it more monotone. All right, let's add our little piece inside so that we can add that extra little butterfly. Whoopsie. Oh, there it is. We can put it inside. All right, so because this is the white glue, I have a little bit of wiggle room. I really don't want it showing behind. Oh, that's perfect. Now we'll take this one and I'm trying to see which is up and which is down. So, because that way is upside down. So it needs to go this way. So, again, I'm going to put it up in the little corner at the top. And then we'll add this little pink sequin and let's add a blue one. Just after I said I never added two different colors. All right, so again, it's pretty because it showcases the front of the paper and the back of the paper. Because you know how hard it is sometimes to decide which side to use, the front or the back. And here you don't have to decide because you get to see each side. All right, so that's our three cards for today. So the difference here is this piece I laid on the top, this piece I tucked underneath. And then this one, oh, there's that piece. I just couldn't do just black and white. I had to add the So Saffron. Okay, so I'll just leave that there for a second and then we'll review all the cards we've made so far this week. Just reading the comments to see if I'm missing anything. Okay, so these are our three cards for today. Yesterday's cards were um, black and white and sa so saffron, just black and white, black and white and so saffron, we're going to have way too many to be in the camera the whole time. Then Tuesday, no, Monday. Yes, Monday we did the little brick wall. We did Just Jade and Mint Macadal. And then we did the Hydrangea Hill paper. And we popped up this one flower and I fussy cut out the little um, butterflies. Then Sunday, when I was doing Celebration Sunday, this is from one of the Celebration stamp sets, Heal Your Heart, and then I did the big swallowtail. And then maybe a week or two ago, I was doing Fun Fold Friday, and we did some with, with the new Butterfly Suite. I love this one. And there's this one. It's got a little bit of a fold on each side. It stays closed nicely, which I like. And then this one. paper is just so pretty. And this one. So lots of cards for Butterfly Brilliance. Just a reminder that if you purchase the bundle and paper from me, so the bundle and this pack of paper, then I will send you a six card class in the mail 
with all the pieces that you need to put the cards together. It'll be three designs, but then you will use your own stamp sets and paper. But it'll have all the instructions. My PDFs always come with a video tutorial as well as a full co cover, color PDF. Okay, we're gonna have so many cards by the end of the week, I won't know what to do with them all. All right, I do appreciate it if you like or share my video. And if you're watching on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I come, not live on Facebook, but when I post a new video. If you are on Facebook watching, then you can like my page and also hit the notifications and then the live videos will pop up on your screen and then you can watch them. I do appreciate your support and you coming and joining me every day to craft in my craft room. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you again tomorrow for more butterfly cards. Thanks everyone.